what's up everybody i'm back with another video today and today we're going to be fishing a new spot that i found recently it's a good spot i heard and there's crappie there bass catfish multi-species so we're going to try to catch some and if we catch something i'll notify you and if we don't then i'll film it and then i'll still show it to you but it's going to be a fun ride over there i'm going to show you the ride over there with some b-roll it's going to be fun we're going to have a fun time there and if we catch anything, then you better believe we're gonna catch and cook that thing that we caught. So just stay tuned. So we were fishing for some crappie with some jigs and we finally got a white crappie. Um, this is like a perfect size, eating size, even though a tad bit bigger would be nice. But we'll try to catch some more and I'll notify you when I catch any more. So it is actually two days later. I didn't show you anymore because it got too dark and filming was pretty hard and we didn't catch anything. Uh, I didn't show you the cleaning part because it was too graphic and YouTube is kind of sketch about it, so I didn't really want to show you guys that because there was a lot of blood, even though there wasn't a lot of guts. But right now I'm going to show you how to cook it, and I hope you stay tuned. Crappie has perfectly white meat. It's been in a freezer for two days, and this crappie actually had a pretty big mouth, like bigger than normal. It's actually just pure meat, so this crappie's going to taste amazing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our knife, and we're just going to make slices in it so all the seasonings and everything could penetrate the meat so there's good flavor in it. just you don't need that much because it's not a huge fish but it's a fat fish just three cuts like that what i'm gonna use is lori's seasoning salt paprika and some garlic salt first we're gonna get the paprika you don't need a lot because this will go a long ways. Just cover it like that. Rub it in. And just rub it. And you're gonna get your garlic salt. Just pour some on there. Perfectly good. And then after that, you're gonna get your Lori seasoning salt. You didn't need a lot. You're just gonna pour some right in there. Light dusting because there is a lot of season seasoning on this, but this will taste amazing. And I did a slit up here so I could pour some seasoning in there. And boom, you have your seasoned white crappie there and we're just gonna put this off to the side we're gonna do some side dishes side dishes first because that's how it looks three slices in between perfectly seasoned and i will show you the next part we're gonna make some bacon so we could fry the crappie in the baking grease so just so stay tuned this is the bacon that i have it's some turkey bacon this tastes phenomenal and the grease is perfect for cooking the crappie in that's why i'm doing it so i have three strips this will be perfect for the crappie and i'm just showing you the bacon because this is the bacon that i'm using and you don't need to use turkey bacon you could use pork bacon but my preference is turkey bacon but if you want to like fry it fry it well done like fried where it's actually crispy use pork bacon because this bacon has it's leaner so I'm just going to show you when I pour them in and how long you got to cook them and everything. But it, it's not that much. So just stay tuned. So we have the bacon here. Perfectly good bacon. But the only problem was it didn't drop any grease this time it didn't drop any grease because uh, other times when i've cooked uh, this turkey bacon grease comes out but this time it didn't 
So I'm gonna have to resort to using butter to cook the crappie, but it's the same thing. Maybe next time I'll use pork bacon. That's probably what you're supposed to use. So just stay tuned and I'm gonna roll the time lapse of cooking the crappie right now. So just stay tuned. So I just finished doing the time lapse. This is the crappie. It is not yet, it's not done yet. It still needs some more cooking, but it is looking good. I actually might have to put more butter. That might be an issue, but I'm pretty sure it won't. I'm gonna put like a tad bit more butter. It's not a lot more, just some. Because the crappie drained all of the butter. <laughs> So yeah, just gonna put some more butter. Let it melt. And so yeah. Sorry about that. Just something that happened. So just melt the butter. Put that butter right on top of it. Evenly coat it with butter so it is all getting perfectly cooked. I'm gonna leave it cook at medium temperature so we can have some sort of a crisp, a tad bit of crisp. So this will go on a little bit later. So I'm just gonna roll another time lapse because for it to become crispy, it's gonna take maybe 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna coat it evenly and get this nice and crispy. This is gonna be tasting amazing. And the tails and the fins, we're gonna try to make those like crispy like a chip and we'll try them out too. So just stay tuned, like I always say. Right now we're gonna cut some potatoes to go along with the crappie dish. These are gonna be basically what you would call potato chips. So what we're just gonna do is cut off the ends right here. Just cut them off, you don't need that. And then you just gotta slice them very thin. Just thin, thin, thin. So they cook fast and they become crispy. You do not use uh, butter for this. You use oil, like an oil, oil, vegetable oil for this. I just cut them semi-thin because they'll cook faster and they'll be more crispy. It's gonna take a while cutting a ton of this. So, it's gonna roll a time lapse. But first, I just wanted to say that if you don't cut them thin and you make them kind of thick, uh, they'll cook a lot slower it'll take a lot longer and they won't be crispy they'll be kind of soggy and no one likes soggy fries just cut them about that thin or if it's like thin where you could see your finger through it that is perfect too any of those is perfect just don't go too thick and don't go too thin because you'll just not get the perfect circle boom you see that? Just take your time and you'll get these perfectly thin potato chip thing. Well, they're gonna become potato fries or chips. Actually, they are chips. That's what you would call them. A chip. It's just a chip. A potato chip. That's what it is. A fried potato chip once they're done. Just gonna roll the time lapse right about now. So once you have all your potatoes nicely cut, you're just going to put not that much oil. I'm using canola oil right now. Just so it covers the potato chips. Maybe less than an inch, half an inch of oil. 
and then just heat it up let that warm up and one way that i will that i like to check that is like just cut a tiny piece of potato just drop it in there and it'll be good so when we're waiting for this i'm gonna show you what you have to do when once these are out so yeah stay tuned what are you gonna once you get all your potato chips cut out and they're perfectly fried you're gonna put them on a paper napkin or whatever on a plate so all the oil drains out and they won't be as oily uh, just a small tip and then once they're still hot pour the salt on it and that's how the salt sticks on them really well so yeah that's what you gotta do after that and i'll show you that too but i'm just waiting for the oil to heat up so once the oil heats up i'll show you so just stay tuned like i always say i'm gonna test out the oil i just have a small piece of potato yeah that's hot oil if you drop a potato chip and it starts bubbling up like that it means it's hot so time to pour all of them in so i'm just gonna set you guys up right here right here just give me a minute mm, sure that will work so all you're gonna do is just drop your potato chips in You're going to fry them until they're golden crispy, golden brown, just gold. If you cut some thicker, thicker than they should be, then it doesn't really matter because it just takes a tad bit, but they'll be a tad bit soggier, but it really doesn't matter because it's all potato chips and stuff, so the flavor doesn't affect it. I got burned. And you see, some of them that were super, super crispy are already turning brown. So, yeah. And if you want, you could just throw them like this so they could get all the oil and get crispy. Like this one's already getting crispy. Another one could be crispy. So this doesn't actually take long at all unless it, they are thicker but that shouldn't affect anything just cook them until they're golden brown let's see here we go this one needs a tad bit longer but that one will be the first one out and that's for sure this one yeah it's ready now i'm just gonna Put it right over here, a paper napkin. I'm just gonna take out some of it so I can taste them right about now. I'm just put on some salt. Chip. Not bad at all. That's pretty good. And it's a simple recipe that everybody could do. All you have to have is like oil, a pan, fire, whatever to cook it on, heat, could be electric stove, gas stove, or whatever. And honestly, it's pretty good. Just don't use oil that's not meant for frying or else it's not gonna taste good. It's gonna fry them a tad bit longer. I'm going to notify you once they're done, so I'm just going to cut the video right now and show you once I'm plating them and everything. So these are the potato chips they're all fried they have salt and everything and honestly they're pretty good nice and crunchy but they still have some oil so just pat them down with anything let's get one of the crispier ones this one this one is a natural chip That's crunchy.
pretty damn good. So I'm going to start plating everything, putting it on a plate. The fish, the bacon, the fries. So, I'm just going to do it right now. I have all the ingredients here. I'm going to have the crappie, the potato fries that we made, bacon. I already took a bite of that. Pretty good. Tastes like bacon. Here we go. Uh, this has a lot of bones. So, boom, bone, bone. Yeah, that's good. Carpet don't have a lot of bones, but I grabbed a piece from the rib cage. We have a potato fry. You know that's good when you have some ketchup on it. Yeah, I could eat this any day. We also have some honey mustard. Yeah, that honey mustard. Mm -hmm. It's still good, but... But not compared to the ketchup. The ketchup with the fries tastes amazing. You know, crappie is one of the best tasting fish you can get. But the walleye, pretty, it's better than a crappie. Although I've only, I've actually never tasted one. But we all know that, that walleye is better than crappie. Let me get some of this big cheese. Big nice chunk. When I say that's damn it good, I mean it's damn it good. Then just like chase it off with some nice potato chips. You guys gotta try this out. Just do like similar things to what I do. If you, you don't have white crappie, it doesn't need to be white crappie. You could do it with any fish. You could do it with bluegill, perch, bass trout whatever but honestly this recipe slap i'm gonna keep on eating this but i want to tell you one last thing so there's a button it's red press it and then you'll be subscribed to this channel press that bell icon to get notified each time i upload a new video and honestly i I'm pretty sure you want to do that and just leave a like comment below if you enjoyed this video and if you tried out this recipe and always stay tuned to the next episode